Hey, this is John. Thanks for checking out today's video. Uh, we're going to do a brand new single by Wet Leg called Wet Dream. It's built around four chords that repeat throughout the entire song, and it's got some awesome little guitar melodies. I think you're absolutely going to love it. And if you haven't seen the video, don't pause this video. But after this video, go watch that video. And if you haven't seen that video, why are you here? Please like and subscribe down below. I'm trying to raise some money to get some beginners into lessons and instruments. Also, if you join the Patreon for as little as $5 a month, uh, you'll get access to the Guitar Pro file for this lesson, as well as the PDF. Uh, so let's get started. So Wet Dream is based around four chords that repeat, and they're all gonna be bar chords. So let's take a look at those. You're gonna have your A, which is gonna be uh, first finger on the sixth string, fifth fret, and then you're gonna move that down two frets to G. Then you're gonna drop that down a string to C, and then finally back up two frets to D. So it's kind of a box pattern. Now if bar chords aren't easy for you, you can also just play the chords that would be in the open position. So like A, and then G. C and then D. Right at the top of the song we've got a great little riff pattern. Uh, it's three separate ones but they're all in little blocks of four uh, bars so let's talk about those now. The first one is going to start on the fourth string. It's going to go five, seven, and then three more sevens. And then it's going to drop down to the fifth string and play five, seven. And then at the end of that four bar pattern, it's going to do a walk down on the fifth string that's going to be seven, five, three, five. Next, we've got a four chord progression that has the same two uh, bar beginning, but then the second two bars, or the second half of the progression, is just a little bit different. So you still have this pattern. And then the next pattern differs in that instead of going down to 5-7 on the 5th string for the last two notes, it goes to 7-5 on the 3rd string. So 5-7-7-7-5. Seven, 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 and then the walk down is going to have an extra note on it. It's going to start uh, on 7 on the 3rd string and go to 5. And then on the fifth, uh, fourth string, it's going to go seven five, and then finally it's going to go to three on the fourth string. The next four chord pattern is going to be exactly the same as the last one. The walk down is going to be the same, and everything. Finally, the last four measures of the intro are going to have just a slightly different ending. So you're still going to have the. And then you're going to have the third measure with a higher part. But the last measure is going to be just a touch different. It's going to go 7-5 on the third string, and then 7-5-3 on the fourth string, and then finally 5 on the uh, fifth string. Now the guitar in the verse only does one thing, and it'll do it two times for each verse. It's going to be a D bar chord, and it's the first time you hear it's going to be four measures in to the verse. And it's going to come in on the third beat, and it's going to be four sixteenth notes, and then two eighth notes. So it's one, two, one, two. From there we go back to the chorus, uh, and the chorus is going to be just like the intro. Four uh, bar chords, starting with A, then to G, C, and then D. Next up, we have the second verse. Second verse is exactly the same as the first verse in relation to the guitar. Four measures in to the verse, you're going to have that same D progression that is going to go on the third beat. It's going to be four sixteenth notes and then two eighth notes. So finally, we have a pattern that ends the song right before the last chorus. It's going to go uh, two open on the fourth string and then three open on the fifth string. 
So it's going to sound like E, D, C, A. And those are just going to get played as quarter notes. And we're going to do that until the very last chorus happens. And during that last chorus, you can hear the other parts in there too. Uh, but just know that we've already covered those parts. It sounds like there's at least two guitar players uh, working on this song. So the last, the last chords at the very end are going to be the same as the intro and same as the other chorus. It's just going to go... <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. That was a quick lesson for Wet Legs' new single called Wet Dreams. Uh, it's a four chord jam. It's got some great melodies. The video is amazing. As good as the first video is, the second video also delivers the goods. It's absolutely fantastic, and I encourage you to go watch it. Of course, after you're after you're done watching this one, if you have the so why are you here if you haven't seen it yet? You should go watch it again. It's great. Uh, check out the Patreon down below for as little as $5 a month. You can get access to the PDF of this lesson as well as the guitar pro file for this lesson. Uh, and we're helping get some beginners into affordable lessons and affordable instruments. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. And have a great day. Talk to you next time.